you know what Joseph Campbell said about religion, Jeff? Uh, people, don't, don't fart on it? People, to, to paraphrase Joseph Campbell, people fuck it up because they think that Bibles are newspapers. Like, they, they don't, like, like, your religion is supposed to be, have, have, have a transparency to it. You're supposed to be in on the joke. You're supposed to have one foot in, one foot out. The whole point of religion, the whole point of, of, of God is that the, the jar that God comes in says on the label, you're not supposed to understand it. It's not, it's not fucking steak sauce. You don't get to incorporate it into your day-to-day -day without any degree of problems or difficulties with the people around you. It's a very personal thing. Some religions make it a communal thing, and, then, and, and notice how their communities, their kids have higher test scores and bigger pools, and, uh, and we get jealous of them, and then we throw bricks at their windows because... <laughs> Uh, uh, it, it's, it's, it, when you, yeah, I, I, I it's like fucking, it's, 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 it's God, dude. It's like, it's confusing shit. It's, it's not, it's, it both exists and doesn't exist. That's, that's a big confuser right there, isn't it? That's, that's a tough one to handle. It's, uh, cause it's not, it, he's, he does, he's not going to come down and go like, hey, welcome to Wise Guys. Is everybody doing okay? That would be the worst God ever. Like, like, as soon as he does that, he's fired. Right? Like, he becomes Kevin Nealon. As soon as he makes an appearance, that's all he is, is Kevin yeah. Nealon. He, yeah. he retains God status yeah. by there, staying there, out of the picture. There are less, it is your job to... There, there are less images of Jesus in a church than there are of Kevin Nealon in this comedy club. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus is good with just that one, like, hey, I did a thing. And, then fucking and our parents fuck us up. But it's, like, you know, it's a popular 25. When you're 25, you go like, well, I don't... But you smoke a joint and you go like, Ah, man, uh, you know, God is fucking bullshit. I, was, I don't believe in some guy in a cloud with a beard. You know, I'm spiritual, but I'm not religious. And I was like, it's fine, it's fine. But no, you're, just because your parents are dipshits doesn't mean that, that like, uh, uh, you know, that Santa Claus and God are the same thing. That was just your parents trying to, like, pull a whammy on you. Spencer, like, like, you Spencer, know, you do you believe in... all the way to uh, jaded cynicism just to, just to get back at your parents. What a waste of a, of a, of a, of a giant brain that's designed to, like, create and... and, 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 and and, and live mythology. Huh. Spence, Spencer, do you uh, have uh, any spiritual side to you? Do you believe in God? What's, what's your take on the whole rigmarole? Uh, I was raised uh, Christian, and when I was young, I, uh, I accepted the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's a tone it, of voice it, thing. It wasn't, a, it wasn't a leap of faith for me. It was like, okay, there's this dude. He did. Wait, wait, he hey, made, if, if you're, if you're going to describe that moment, can we do it D&D &D style? I guess. <laughs> Spencer, I'm being attacked by Christian parents. Okay, uh, with Bibles. I was I was talking about a thing. I can't switch gears that fast. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, he, sorry. he was going to talk about God, but, but he was going to explain what was going. I'm on. sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. Sorry. Walking into the room, clutching Bibles. <laughs> Your parents say they want to pray with you before they go out to eat. Swallowing your pride, you acquiesce. <laughs> no, but I mean, I, I just, it made sense to me as a kid. And uh, then I grew up and it made less sense to me. And I was never someone who had faith, like in anything. I don't have faith that my mom was going to go back, you know, come home if she left. I didn't have <laughs> faith that the bus was going to arrive. I have faith in nothing. So when it stopped making sense, I was like, okay, this doesn't make sense. I stopped taking it to be fact. So... I think that there's definitely some sort of ethereal, metaphysical uh, power, and it manifests itself in many ways that we don't understand. I don't know what those are because we don't understand them. Ghosts, the Loch Ness Monster, and uh, um, uh, spontaneous combustion. Those could all be the same thing. Like, those could be miracles, or those could all be psychic powers. I do believe the Loch Ness Monster makes spontaneous combustion happen. Yeah, whenever he, like, uh, dreams about uh, the sun. <laughs> No, absolutely. I mean, not, not, I, when I was growing up, my parents were Christian and tried, so it told me when I would break a flower pot, they'd go, swear in the Bible uh, that you didn't break it and all this stuff. Nothing will make you an atheist quicker than Christian parents. Like, like, <laughs> and that, and that's, that's a, a proud American tradition. Like, yeah. like, 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 because your parents' Christianity is like, 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 like man, it, it can really blow. It's like their car. It's a but parenting you get, you get a station wagon from them that you don't want either. Like, like your, you know, you, you, your dream is to get a Camaro. When I was a kid, I, I, was, I was raised in a Lutheran school as a little kid, and uh, you, you had the Sunday school and you heard the Bible stories. That was the only thing I kind of liked. I, I never knew what they meant, but I liked, like, I liked the mythology of it. I always liked the storytelling about like, people blowing trumpets and knocking walls down. I have no idea what the point of it all was. But I knew that Lutheran church, you get to sit there and doodle and nobody cared, so I just drew a lot. And, it was in, and I would leave the church, 
And I'd, I'd go up to the pastor, and he would put his hand out, and he would say, well, let's see what you drew. He didn't care that I wasn't listening. He, yeah. he actually liked my little drawings. I've something. told the story before, I think, on the podcast, where I went to Sunday school, and, uh, and my mom asked, what did you do today in Sunday school? It was like our first day in Sunday school, and I told her, and she pulled me out, because it was like we learned to recognize Bible characters with flashcards. We learned to recognize them visually. <laughs> I can tell you the difference between Ham and Noah because Ham had a cane in his hand. <laughs> Noah had a backpack. Hey, but, but confusingly... They were both cartoons. They both looked like Captain Caveman. Confusingly, Cain had a ham in his hand. <laughs> and I explained this to my mom. I said, I can tell you who Ham's wife looks like. I can tell you who Noah's wife looks like. That is ridiculous. And my mom said... That is ridiculous, and, that and, is. And, and you don't have to go to Sunday school anymore. Holy smoke. Uh, but she also put the whammy on me with the, you know, God exists and don't... Because if I, if I would, like, if I'd be programming my Commodore 64 and it wouldn't work right, I would, I would go, God damn it, fucking computer. And my mom would go, D-, you know, she'd, like, slap me and go, like, don't use the Lord's name in vain. So, like, 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 she'd be, like, really... I think she was carrying some shit over from her, her parents. She just knew that if she had a kid that didn't respect God, that she was a fuck up as a parent. So she was just out of paranoia and anxiety, was like just putting the fear into me and nothing else. There was nothing. And I remember I had these books that would be like, like the hand-me-downs of like, oh, see Dick uh, and Jane uh, hang out. Uh, and they, oh, they lost their dog. Oh, where's the dog? Where's Spot? We can't find Spot. And I'm like, oh, I'm learning to read. This is great. Well, we can't find Spot. What should we do? Turn the page. Let's pray. What? Uh, <laughs> Jesus can help you find your dog. And this Jesus would be hanging out in his robe in the middle of this book about a... <laughs> About, about these 50s kids looking for their dog. I remember that being a drag. Because it wasn't a good story. It was deus ex machina. And, <laughs> like, and also weird. Like Jesus is not like a cool-looking character in a children's book.